Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Voice in the Sea Toucan. And the Toucan has a side release buckle. It comes with a, a tie wrap that you can use to attach the side release buckle to your D-ring on your BC. When you want to use your Toucan, you just reach up, unclip the side release buckle, then extend your Toucan out, just pull it apart. And this is the ear seal. This is a super soft silicone. It seals very easily against the listener's ear. But you do need to press it against your ear. Now there's a ridge here. That is so you know the ridge should be up. That's uh, important so that the perch holes are pointed down. Now when you're using the toucan, the thing you want to do is be relaxed. There is no hurry. You don't want to get in a hurry. You don't want to feel anxious about, oh, I only have one breath to talk, because you can uh, speak a long time on one breath. Okay, so she presses the ear seal against her ear. Now I have to be slightly lower in the water column because I want the air to go up and all the water to come out the perch holes here. So all I do is, once she's sealed, I may want to grab her shoulder just so as we're, if there's any current, whatever, we can stay together, but I'll take the uh, voice chamber, seal it against my face, like that, and to purge the water out, I need to blow some air in slowly, not a quick blast of air, because if you do a quick blast, all you'll do is the air will blow out the, the uh, purge holes, so you want to do it slowly, so the best way is just to say one, two, three, four. If you say one, two, three, four, if you speak into the into the toucan, all the water will exit through the purge holes. Now you'll be speaking in there. And you want to keep this sealed. You want to keep both ends sealed. Once you have it purged, you're free to move about. You can swim. I can I can swim up above her. As long as we keep the end sealed, it'll stay water free. Now you don't want to shout. That's important because you are talking in a tube and your listener is right here. So speak softly, just gently. It's very clear audio and have fun. Now, do not, um, do not use the very last ounce of air to speak with. You do need to get your regulator back in your mouth and purge your regulator. So uh, remember that. Practice this in some shallow water in a pool. If you've got some shallow water that's got sand or hard bottom that you're not going to tear up by standing there, practice a little bit with it. Um, you'll find it's very easy to use. One of the good things to use with it is a scuba necklace. That's a silicone band that clips to your regulator, uh, your second stage, and you can just, when you take your regulator out of your mouth, you can just drop it and it sits right here, very easy to get back in your mouth. So I recommend a, a necklace. If not, you can hold on to it with your pinky. Um, that's very easy to do, hold your hose with your pinky. Uh, or you can just drop it and you can do an arm sweep like you learned in your open water class and retrieve your regulator. And that's it. To uh, put it back together, just simply you fold it in a couple spots there and you stuff the back end in. Not the, Don't try, it doesn't go together like this. It's just simply like that and just stick it in there push it together and voila, 